Hello and welcome back. My name is Chris Parker with ParkerPhotographic.com and this is the final chapter for my free Luminar Neo course. Now, once you're done editing your images to perfection, it's time to share them with the world. And that's exactly what you're going to learn how to do in this Luminar Neo tutorial. So if you're ready, let's do it. When exporting your file out of Luminar Neo, you're creating a new file. It's not going to overwrite the original file. So if you come up here to the top right and click on this little icon, you have some options to share that file or to create a new file or to export that file. The first is disk. So you can export to an internal or external hard drive. You can select messages, mail, or you can share to a device that is connected to Luminar Neo. You can also activate the export dialog via the catalog and right clicking on an image and choosing export from here. The first option here is to rename the file as needed. You can add some color tags to it if you need to organize the file. And then you need to tell Luminar Neo where to save that new file. Under that, we have some options that we need to make before we save or export that file. One of the options is to add some additional sharpening to the image, which you can select from these options here. Personally, I prefer to sharpen my image before I export the file. You can then decide on the size of the file. Original is set by default, which is the original size of that file. And then you can choose long edge, short edge, or dimensions. So dimensions will allow you to type in a size for the width and the height. You just want to make sure that you're using the correct size for both in order to have the same aspect ratio. If not, then you're going to have an image that's a little bit distorted. So if I type in 6,000, it's then going to take on a different aspect ratio. And then you can also adjust the size based on the long edge. In this case, the horizontal image would be the width of the image. Short edge would be the height. Now, when I post images online, I like to resize the image based on the long edge, and I like to use 1800 for the width for Facebook and some of the other social media platforms. But for Instagram, you're going to need either a four by five aspect ratio, which you're going to need to crop before you export or a square format. Once you've picked out your size, you do have a few more options left to pick based on the intended output for that file. For example, if you're posting online, you want to use sRGB. If you're going to do a photographic print, you're going to choose one of these two options here. For the file format, you're going to use JPEG for online use. And I use JPEG files for my blog, but I will use PNG files for social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook. And that's because once you upload that file to Facebook or Instagram or other social media sites, they will compress that file and lower the quality of your image. But with a PNG file, I find the quality of that file stays more intact after the compression versus a JPEG file. Now, the other thing about the JPEG file is you need to set the quality. So if I'm placing this file online on my website, I will choose a quality of 80, which is a smaller file size. If I'm going to do a print, I'm going to set it to 100 because I want the highest quality possible for that print. Now, in regards to PNG, if you select that file format, you want to select 16 bits versus 8 bits if you're posting on a social media platform because 16 bits is going to retain more detail and colors versus 8 bits. Now, if you have transparency in your file, because maybe you removed the background and now there's transparency and you need to open that up in Photoshop or another program to include that transparency, make sure you turn on save transparency to, well, save that transparency. All right, so resolution is another setting that you need to adjust based on your intended output. So if you're posting online, you're going to use a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. If you're going to be doing photographic prints, whether it's at home or at a professional lab, you're going to use either 240 or 300 pixels per inch. And that's going to depend on the printer settings that you need for that particular printer. 
If you're doing it at home, check your documentation. If you're sending out to a professional lab, contact them to see what resolution they prefer. Once you have all your settings set, click save and Luminar Neo will do its magic and export that file to your destination. To continue elevating your Luminar Neo editing skills, check out this playlist next.